I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody who subscribed. We're at 250 subscribers. It's actually 251 subscribers. I thought I'd have more time to make this video, but the last few just really just racked up. Um, we were at like 246 or something this morning and like I just checked and we we're at 251 right now So thank you so much. You guys are all amazing. Thank you for subscribing uh, The channel's growing really fast. There's a lot of new content coming out uh, We have a lot of really good stuff coming out So stay tuned and if you're new right now, please subscribe down below and hit that notification icon and anybody that hasn't no hit that notification icon Go hit that notification icon so you get updated when new videos get uploaded. We have a lot of new content. I'm just going to walk around the fish room really quickly and show you guys some of the fish tanks. And uh, you know just like a vlog type of thing. Uh, just to give you guys some uh, footage. And uh, just to give you an idea of what's to come. Uh, there's eggs in this tube. Uh, I didn't think it was going to hatch but now I don't know. I'm not going to tell you what they are but... Uh, from looking at the tube you can probably tell what type of fish they are um, so I'm excited for that I'll give you an update these two are growing um, so really excited for that there's eggs down there uh, in one of the tubes we can see there's the male he's doing his little dance um, in this tube right here and this little spike whatever watering spike thing on jiggy I do still have to set up these uh, CW027s in their own tank, so that's happening. I'll, I'll make a video about that. We're in the middle of water changes, so um, I'm actually trying something new with the water changes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not use Prime after letting the, this water sit for two, three days, and uh, see if that makes a difference in the readings that I get uh, for my ammonia tests. So, just wanted to give you guys a really quick turnaround of some of the tanks. Um, some of the stuff I'm dealing with right now um, over here actually uh, I do have a planaria outbreak in this tank and also I seen some today in this tank they did eat one of my uh, fancy red tigers nice big female got eaten today so it was pretty sad um, I feel like they they wait till the shrimp molt and then they catch them. There was two that were eaten here a couple of days ago, and then another one that was eaten yesterday or day before. Um, and uh, I did fix the issue in this tank. Um, I am going to fix it in this tank, so you can uh, fig watch what I do and how I fix these issues. I'm not going to use a chemical solution. I do not think I have planaria in this tank or any of my other shrimp tanks. So uh, these are the only two tanks that are affected right now that are on this side. And also, I know for sure there is planaria in this tank, um, which is the original tank that had the issue. Um, yeah, I did have it in this tank very briefly, which I got rid of. Uh, this tank, clear, I cleared it out, so there's nothing in there. Uh, you can see the planaria right there. See? See these little... Oh, I hate them. Uh, the thing with planaria is you can't really kill them. Uh, if you like squash it, it just becomes two. They have flat worm. So if you break this in half or three parts, it will become three worms. So, uh, bristle nose are usually uh, going to eat them, but you have to have uh, loaches or other fish that can eat them. Uh, in this tank, what I am using is a white cloud minnow and uh, some tetras. Uh, I want to move my green neon tetras that are in this tank over here which would definitely remove all the planaria in the tank within a couple of days but they will also eat the shrimp they have developed a taste for shrimp since they have been living with them and uh, they're killing the shrimp themselves so it's really hard to move them over so what i was planning to do is to set up a tank um, for these guys it's just a lot of work it's just a huge process and i'm gonna show you the entire process and uh so yeah stay tuned for that so that's coming up um over here we do have celestial pearl daniel fry that are growing out. You guys have seen these guys before. It's quite a bit in here. Several hundred actually. You just can't see them because this water buck is right in front of it. So I'm sorry about the glare and all that. But uh, there's quite a bit of these guys. They're at about half a centimeter to, to about 0.7 centimeters long now. Uh, 
doing really well this tank has the underground filters let me turn the lights on in here real quickly there we go so uh look out for that update underground filter update we are going to be setting up this tank down below with the underground filters uh this is already set up with the underground filters i just had to plant it there are cpd spawning in there and then this one here has an underground filter there, there's going to be updates about this gravel layers and uh, the denitrification factors and the benefits these are providing my tank and uh it's actually been quite nice so far i'm really impressed with the results i forgot how good these were uh, how good underground filters were how functional they were and how good they they worked um so i'm really excited that i did this and i'm really excited to set up these two bottom tanks they were a little bit delayed because i wanted to make sure that these did function as i remembered they did they do so or they should so uh, i'm really excited that uh i went to these two underground filters for these tanks here so these two up here are going to be uh staying as they are down here uh that tank is going to be set up as an under gravel this one already has an under gravel and then turn around and this side over here once this thing gets cleared out out of the goldfish that are in here that's going to be an under gravel filter as well so there's going to be five tanks in here with under gravel filters as well there's going to be another tank outside a 55 or 50 gallon uh that's going to have under gravel filters so that's coming up um these guys spawned again but the eggs did not uh well, there's something was wrong they just all went bad so i'm i'm kind of concerned about that i gotta figure out uh what it is that is in this tank that's making that happen uh but you know i don't think it'll be an issue for the next spawn uh down below these two are like well past due for trimming so i'm gonna make a video about that stay tuned for that that's coming up next uh very shortly um uh, there's gonna be a few different things i'm doing with the shrimp tank so yeah uh, I'm not going to give you too much details. The, the trimming is obviously like, you know, very basic, but there's a tank being set up. There's going to be new, uh, new, new shrimp we're working with. You're going to see a lot of different things with the shrimp. So like expect a lot more for shrimp stuff because um, I have a lot of shrimp. A lot of people have been asking me for them. I just didn't know that was something you guys want to see. So please comment below and let me know that if you want to see more shrimp stuff, uh, or like you know related things i do have neocaridinas as well which uh, i do breed uh, not a not a lot but you know i do breed them in here i have uh blue rileys in here and uh also just the regular full blue ones i don't know what they're called but they're really pretty so um but i just never make videos about them because i didn't think anybody was interested in you know just basic shrimp they were not that pretty like but anyways uh so many people have been asking so i am going to make more videos about the shrimp uh as well as you know more videos about breeding these guys here uh oh yeah for breeding projects that's that's that are coming up um i really like this tank or uh, this box here it's just moss i'll just show you guys how it looks from the top i collected this from my rooftop uh last summer end of summer so around november or october I was on my roof so I collected that um, so breeding projects we are breeding these uh, white cloud minnows they should be coming out of here today or tomorrow because they're pretty much they have been spawning in here for the last 48 hours um, any longer than tomorrow the eggs will start hatching I'm pretty sure some of them are already gonna hatch tomorrow so I'm gonna pull those out uh, Congo tetras have been in here for a few days now they haven't laid eggs so I'm kind of waiting for that to happen any minute um, the female um, what do you call these rainbow shiners I have seven females that are in here they're plump look at them they're nice and fat so I just had to put the males in and I feel like when I do they will spawn I'm just giving them a separation time so that when the males go in there's a guarantee of spawn uh, so this next couple of days maybe tonight I'll put them in there so that's coming up stay tuned for that um let me show you guys the males real quickly there are the males you remember these guys gorgy berries they're really pretty it's basically like a fish room tour now you see most of the fish tanks now 
well not all of them but you didn't see you did see quite a bit of them uh, as I walked around uh, so I hope you enjoyed that if ever you know like I'm really happy the channel's growing really fast it's doing really well I'm really excited thank you so much again you guys are all awesome and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe down below be the 252nd or 253rd subscriber and uh, look out for these videos there you know look out for these guys being spawned i was told that uh, there's not that many people that have spawned these but being a north american fish and i i being in north america and having water that is from a lake that these guys would probably be completely fine living in uh i do not see any problem having to spawn these and also that's another thing i am being very careful uh, look there's a lot of spawning activity already um i'm being very careful um as to uh that not to release any of the water that are in these tanks into the the sewer systems uh before it, it being stopped uh and decontaminated to make sure that none of these fry or eggs or anything gets released into our our lake system so that's something to consider if you are keeping any fish that could potentially survive in our our natural ecosystems you have to make sure you do not put any of the water from these tanks into the sewer system without decontaminate uh, basically boiling it or letting uh, another fish like a goldfish tank go through it so that anything that's in here gets eaten out before um you actually goldfish are not a good one either because goldfish are definitely invasive so you cannot make you have to make sure you don't put any water from goldfish tanks into sewers as well so these are things to consider uh we should make a video about that um so that's something i might actually make a video about these guys have a clutch of eggs there's four babies that hatched you know like it happens they're just getting back into spawning so i'm not too worried about them but they're exceptional parents and i feel like they're gonna raise these four babies so we'll try to make a video about that there's eggs also on this side um they are doing much much better so look out for those anyways i'm gonna sign off Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You guys are all awesome. Uh, everybody, these are my some of my zebras. Uh, some of the grow outside in here. So, hope you guys are all enjoying the videos. And uh, thank you so much. Love you all. I'll see you on the next video. God bless.